districts across the state are focusing on reopening this fall. Last week, we told you Butler School District's plan was approved, and today sports were allowed to return to campus. New at 5, Nicole Ford is live to explain how those practices will look a little different this year. Nicole. Well, Christine, it took a lot of planning by the school district and athletic director to get student athletes back on this field today. And as summer continues, you'll see more sports back in action here in Butler. <laughs> Open gym for Butler football looks a little different this year. So right now there's no contact either. So uh, football is basically conditioning and they're lifting at this point in time. On Thursday, a number of fall sports kicked off their summer programs for the first time. I had a, a broad overview of what we wanted to do, um, but until we got that document from the governor, we had to wait uh, on exact mandates. Butler Athletic Director Bill Milan says he spent weeks coming up with a 10-page phased approach to bringing sports back on campus safely. We're working in, in pods of 10 with the kids, so um, whatever they're doing, whatever activity, they're going in groups of 10. Uh, so if we have a situation arises, it's easier for us to do contact tracing. <laughs> Phase 2 will increase those groups to 50 and allow contact in pads on July 7th. There aren't too many teams other than football in the fall that have more than 50 kids. So we'll be able to manage that a lot better and do more team oriented activities. Another noticeable change, coaches sporting masks and disinfectant can be found on every corner. We also have a cleaning crew at each of the venues where we're at. So our custodial crew is coming in from seven to nine every morning. Mylan says the district is hopeful. These precautions will help, but for now, he says the summer is just a test for when all sports return in August. It gives us a little bit of a taste of what we're, what we're looking at for the fall. Now school district officials tell me they fully anticipate these plans to change before those games and matches kick off in the fall. As of right now, though, most of those games would not have spectators because that would create groups of more than 250. We're live in Butler tonight. Nicole Ford, Kitty K News.